Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, and it's Tuesday, May the 26th. I was reading recently in the book of Acts, chapter 13. It's Luke's record of uh, Paul and Barnabas, their first short-term mission venture. And in Antioch, Paul is giving uh, a brief overview and summary of God's activity in the Old Testament. And part and part of that, here, here's what he said. He's talking about the, the kingdom of Israel and God raising up a king and Saul and then replacing Saul with David. And he says, when he had removed him, in other words, when he had removed Saul from being king, he raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David, the son of Jesse, a man after my heart who will do all my will. Of this man's offspring, God has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus, as he promised. And then later in this recounting uh, on the part of Paul, he says again of David in verse 36, for David after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, fell asleep and was laid with his fathers and saw corruption. And so here were the observations that that I took away from uh, these verses in Acts chapter 13. And the first one is this. We don't have to be defined by our greatest failures. Often today, when you mention David, especially in Christian circles. You mentioned David. The very first thing that's going to come to people's minds is his colossal failure related to uh, Bathsheba and uh, her husband Uriah. He commits adultery. He, he instigates murder. And that is what defines the life of David for so many people. And yet, when Paul is remembering and recounting God's activity through David, uh, Paul doesn't mention that at all. Paul says, God found in David a man after his heart who would do all his will. You and I don't have to be defined by our greatest failures. The second thing that I noticed about this is that obedience to God is Im important. It is important, and that's not going to happen apart from his word. It's so vital for us today, even in the midst of all these circumstances, to remember that faithful obedience to the word of God is, is still important, regardless of what's going on in the circumstances around us. And then uh, the final observation is this. You have a purpose given to you by God for this time. This did not catch God off guard. He was not surprised by this. It is not um, by chance that you and I are living through these days right now. Just as God had a purpose in the life of David, so God has a purpose for our lives for today. Let's make the very most of that for his glory. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you that, that even though there are times where we completely blow it, where we just completely... Um, get off track and, and the wheels come off of our lives and we just, we blow it in sometimes even horrendous ways, then our lives don't have to be defined by that. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness to us. Thank you for the gracious way that you have designed each of us for a purpose, for your purpose. We, we, want, we want to be faithful in accomplishing that purpose. And we know that to do that, it requires obedience uh, to your word. So thank you for, for not leaving us in the dark. Thank you for giving us 
instruction. Thank you for revealing yourself to us and your design for your creation to us in your word. And help us to, uh, as we submit to you, to live in faithful obedience to what you have declared. And and we want to do all this, Father, for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Right before uh, the world stopped with uh, the coronavirus, uh, in our church family, we were actually making plans to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Patty Lofton's service to our church family here on the Crystal Coast. And and we don't want to let that occasion uh, slip by us, even with all that's going on around us. So I, I want to encourage you today, over the next couple of weeks, please take an opportunity to make a special uh, gift, a love offering, in honor of Patty's 25th anniversary Uh, her 25 years of faithful service to the glory of God here on on the Crystal Coast. And thank you. Let me just say right now, thank you for being a part of this in Patty's life. And thank you again for the many ways that you continue to love our community like never before. 